Hello friends, welcome to me paintings. I'm Veronica Me. Thank you for watching my video. I prepared another painting tutorial for you today. As you can see, I'll be using this beautiful range of rainbow colors. It's Indian yellow, orange, cadmium red, magenta. Uh, this is mixture of mauve and white, purple, uh, turquoise and viridian green. But I'll be using these colors on a very dark base coat. And for that, I'll be using this color. Uh, it's called dark blue and it tends to get really dark when it gets dry, almost black. And I'd like to create some nice contrast in between colors. So at the beginning, I would like to show you how I mix my colors. So I'll put like half of this cup will be filled with this blue. And this is 200 milliliters. And I'm gonna mix it with my pouring medium. I make my own pouring medium from Craft Planet PVA glue, but uh, you can buy any kind of PVA glue, I think, and mix it to create your pouring medium. And I use 60% of PVA glue, 40% of water. So that's the mixture in my bottle. Now I'm going to fill it, mix it up with my blue. And this kind of blue is quite thin, so I, I mix like 60% of color and 40% of of um, pouring medium. Let's mix it up. My colors are this kind of brand and this is a, this is the opposite. This, these colors are quite thick so you need like 30% of these colors and 70% of pouring medium. I also put two drops of silicone oil in each color, but not in my blue. There's no silicone in my blue, just in these colors. And I will also be using white color in the middle. And I also put white, uh, I also put silicone oil in my white. And it's time to cover whole canvas with my beautiful blue, dark blue color. Spread it everywhere. Let's pour this white in the middle and it will be the part where I'll pour my colors. All of it. And I can start pouring my rainbow colors. So this is yellow, few blobs of yellow, Indian yellow, my orange little blob here because I would like my colors to mix nicely together then my red this is I think it's cadmium red magenta I love magenta color Now I've got this piece of plastic sheet, which is great tool for swiping. If you don't have any kind of this, you can use this for swipe. And I'm gonna put it here on the top and make a swipe. Wow, look at all these beautiful colors. It's not finished yet, but I'm gonna use my heat gun to pop some of these cells. And now I would like to create a reverse swipe. So all these colors will mix up together and create interesting shades of colors. So, let's use my sheet again and I'm going to do a swipe back. Wow. 
Let's try to move it down a little bit. But not too much. Let's pour my white here on this edge and it's just mixture of white and pouring medium, no silicone oil. It's a little bit more fluid than the rest of my colors. And I'm gonna make a swipe all the way down there. And use my heat gun. Okay, so this will show you how far you can take your pour. I still, I'm still not happy with this. So let's show you how far you can take it if you make a mistake. I've got this bottle, which is old. I don't, I want to check it away. So now I will try to roll this bottle all over my pour. And wow, that actually created a nice, beautiful, like a galaxy pour. Let's show you some details. Look, look at that. So when you're not happy with your pour, you can take it far away and you can push it to limits and create something extraordinary. So I'm gonna let this dry and I might embellish it into something else. So see you soon. Hello, welcome back after a few days. It's my dry pour and I admit it was a disaster, complete failure, but lots of you always write to me, why do you show us only your successful pours? But that's not truth. Even though I've been doing pouring for a while, I still have got lots of unsuccessful pours, but I always try to turn them into masterpieces. I'm gonna use my tape and create the border between my lake or sea and my sky. And now I'm going to put a little bit of this white here. So a little bit of white shine, which will be at the border of my lake. Let's use my baby wipe, baby wipes and wipe it up, wipe it off all like this. So it creates just the very slight shine. Okay, so let's take off my tape. So cool that I did that beautiful shine. Some color went underneath, but it's okay. I've still got my wet baby wipe, so I'm gonna mend it like this and just go and create a nice border. So let's show you a little detail. You can already see some beautiful water here. But I'm gonna help it with my teeny tiny brush, size zero. I'm gonna put my brush in water and then in my white acrylic color and highlighten all these shapes which uh, um, appeared when I rolled my bottle here. So let's just paint these little tiny waves here. It will help to look like some waves are in my water. And 
this rolling bottle is actually amazing for creating this water pattern. And make sure you use just a tiny, tiny brush because you want these lines to be very tiny. And I would like to paint some stars on my beautiful sky. And you could also use toothbrush for painting the stars. But I would like to paint them like this. Some of them will be smaller, some of them bigger. And I also decided to make one last thing. I would like to paint some nice small mountains here, maybe a little here. And for that I'm going to use my palette knife. Just put a little bit of black acrylic color on the tip of my palette knife. And create nice, nice little mountains here. Like this. Now let's clean my palette knife, put a little bit of this white on the tip of my palette knife and go like this so it creates nice snowy feel on your mountain. See, it already looks like mountain covered with snow let's put some snow here and there And this is a result of my disaster acrylic pour and to be honest I love the way it turned out. I would never make this if this was a mistake. As you can see you can mess things up, you can roll over it, swipe it, whatever you want and sometimes you just create this amazing background for your future paintings. So I hope you enjoyed this special tutorial, I hope it was inspirational for you and if you enjoyed it please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel, you can also join my Facebook group which is called Create With Me and show us your beautiful art. I hope you are all healthy and safe and I hope you create beautiful art because it's the way how you can meditate and how you can make yourself feel better. It definitely helps me to feel happier when I make art. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you soon. Bye!